Hi, I'm Lay from LayShidel.com, and I have a little training here for you. I thought I would teach you about a, a cut and paste tool that Windows has for us. And so what I'm going to do is take you over to my screen so that you can see what's going on. And what we have here is Windows, and at the very bottom left-hand corner, you'll see the little window that represents Windows, and next to it is a box where you can type in information. If you'll just type in snipping tool there, you'll see, or just start typing it, it should come up. You might have to type it all out the first time. And in your list, you'll see a snipping tool, which is the desktop application. Click on that one time, and you will see a little tiny box open. I'm going to pop over to my page, and when you're at that little box, to use this, you just click on the very first item in the menu, which is called New, and it's going to give you a little crosshair. You left click in the top right hand, uh, I'm sorry, you click in the top left hand corner of where you'd like to copy and paste and drag to the bottom right, or you could do it vice versa, but it's from one corner to the opposite corner. So I'm going to click top left, and I'm going to drag to bottom right. When I let go, that's what's going to be copied in the screen. When I click down, it opens another window. This is a snipping tool window. It actually has a copy of this in the application now. And looking at that menu screen, you have an option here to copy, which is the lines on what looks like a sheet of paper. And if you click on that, that will copy it. And I'm just going to take you over and show you on a uh, messenger, my own messenger. I'll open that and show you that I can just paste that. And I just used Control V or you could right click and paste the item. And there it is to show you that's how easy it really works. And when I go to the taskbar, I can hover over it and you can see it right here is the application again. And if I click on the icon at the bottom, it opens that window again. And if I'm ready to use it again, I just click new and it brings me back to that tiny menu again. And then I just go to whatever it is that I'd like to copy, click and drag to the, uh, to the opposite corner, click it when you let go and it's made a copy of it for you to use. That's how easy it is. And so I hope this brought you a little bit of value and that you'll find this to be a useful tool when you're on Windows on a laptop or a PC. Thanks a lot for spending your time with me. I know you could be anywhere you wanted to be, and I really appreciate your spending your time with me. Bye-bye.